Hello, my name is Nina Jimbetti, and I'm a sales engineer for Olympus Ultrasonic Thickness Gauges. Today we are going to discuss the differences between echo to echo and through coat measurements on the 38DL Plus. The 38DL Plus has two unique features for measuring the remaining wall thickness of pipes, tanks, or other metal materials that may be externally painted or coated. In this discussion, I'm going to be using a thin piece of plastic to simulate a coating thickness. The first feature is called echo to echo. In this feature, the 38DL Plus measures the time of flight between multiple back wall reflections within the metal to display the true metal thickness underneath a painted or coated surface. Echo to echo is the most common method of measuring remaining wall thickness on metal materials that are painted or coated. A limitation of this feature is that when the internal surface becomes extremely eroded or corroded, multiple back wall echoes may not exist as displayed in the signal here. Another limitation of echo to echo concerns thick materials where material attenuation and irregular back wall surface conditions make it difficult to get two back wall echoes to occur. On material over 15 millimeters, there can be echo interference of unwanted mode converted echoes, which occur between the first and second back wall echoes. Here I am coupled to a 38.1 millimeters test block and the gauge is making detection of the first back wall echo, but the second back wall echo is very low in amplitude and difficult to measure. The last limitation regarding echo to echo concerns measuring thin materials. It is extremely difficult or impossible to separate the time of flight between multiple back wall echoes when the wall thickness is below 2.5 millimeters. In this case here, we are coupled to a one millimeter test block and you cannot clearly separate the time of flight between multiple back wall echoes. The second feature the 38DL Plus has to measure the remaining wall thickness for pipes or tanks that may be externally painted or coated is called through coat. In this technique, the gauge uses a single back wall echo to measure both the coating thickness and the steel thickness at the same time. The advantages of through coat are that it can make proper thickness measurements when multiple back wall echoes do not exist or when measuring thick and thin materials as demonstrated here. Here is a through coat measurement when multiple back wall echoes do not exist. Here is a through coat measurement on a 20 millimeter test block. Here is a through coat measurement on a one millimeter test block. The limitations of through coat are it may not work properly if the thickness of the coating is below 0.125 millimeters or if the external coated surface is rough or irregular, it may be difficult for a through coat to resolve the thickness of the coating and the thickness of the steel. When measuring a painted material, if through coat cannot resolve the coating and steel thickness properly, then the thickness value of the coating will be blank and the thickness of the material will be incorrect. The truly unique feature of the through coat transducers are that they can be used in through coat mode where they can measure the thickness of the coating and the thickness of the steel using a single back wall echo. These transducers can also be used in echo to echo mode where they will measure the true metal thickness using multiple back wall echoes or in standard measurement mode measuring to the first back wall echo. This completes our discussion of the differences between echo to echo and through coat measurements on the 38DL Plus. For more information, please visit our website at www.olympus-ims.com or contact your local sales representative.